I'm here with Fremantle Ruckman Lloyd Meek. Lloyd, how's it feel to start the season off with a win? Yeah, oh, it's great. Um, every club obviously wants to do it. You spend a lot of time um, in the summer prepping for round one and a lot of mental thoughts about it and a lot of physical prep. And um, yeah, I know the boys have been down here working hard, um, playing all these preseason games, trying to get ready for this game. And so to tick, tick one off and get the four points, they'll be really stoked. Carl Warner had a really strong debut, finishing up with 31 disposals and two goals. How do you rate his his performance? Yeah, it was unreal. Um, Carl's got a pretty incredible story. For those who have who don't know it, he obviously got drafted from Victoria with uh, a sharp border and spent the first four or five months at the club via correspondence, and that would have been so tough on him. So he's finally starting to get um, some reward for all the work he's had to cram in a whole summer of work into a couple of months. Um, and yeah, I'm not surprised. He's an absolute pro with the way he goes about it, and I'm sure we're going to see lots more of him to come. Connor Blakely was a workhorse getting around the ground today. How good is it to have someone with his experience in the team? Yeah, it always helps. We had a lot of AFL experience today um, across all lines, mids, forwards, and backs, and um, it helps so much. Obviously, they know the game plan through and through, and they can help educate the younger guys that we had playing. And um, yeah, he's a beast. He's good at what he does. He's a bull on the inside, and um, then he, as he said, works really hard from contest to contest. Your small forwards provided pressure all day and presented up forwards, which resulted in a few goals. What do you think of their performance as a group? Yeah, they were good. They were good. Um, they were probably a bit low on supply. The mids, well, you couldn't quite, in the first half, get enough ball um, headed their direction. But uh, once we worked that out and sorted that out and tried to get started to get a few more clearances, the, the smalls were able to then go to work. And I think it's all uh, moving parts of the puzzle. Like the key forwards have to provide a contest to let the smalls go to work, and they did that all night. And luckily, they also got a, a lick at the end. So everyone played their role, which is what we want. You went into the final quarter down by seven points and went on to win by 32. What did the coach say at the break to inspire the turn all around? Uh, yeah, it was just reinforcing, like, it's never anything new. It's always, um, we're a process-driven club and, and team and um, it's probably just reinforcing our, um, a bit of passion and, and the energy that we needed to get over the line. Like, as I said, the boys have had a massive summer. They're all fit, so we know that in the fourth quarter we're going to be able to stand up. It's um, purely about getting to work and I think, as I said, winning the midfield battle is a big area and then, yeah, started to get going our way. You're playing West Perth next week. What do you think you can build upon to get the win? Yeah, um, they're a strong club. They're a strong club. I think our first half probably wasn't quite good enough around the ball. Um, contest work and um, just that four quarter consistency if we can bring our what we did in that last quarter for all four quarters and plays as one connected unit and um, with two clubs sort of coming in the relationship's really growing and it's been really strong over this summer um, and I know that like the more time we spend playing with each other we're just going to keep growing and growing and that consistency is really going to come so